So now that I'm in year three, starting year three of my miniature wargaming, um, being active with this, um, I was looking for another game to to get into besides Star Wars Legion, besides Marvel Crisis Protocol, besides Song of Fire and Ice. Um, and Warhammer was the one that sort of kept coming back to. It's been around for so long. I remember seeing it back in the early 90s and wondering, you know, what is that? What It looks kind of neat, but I don't really understand it. And unfortunately for me, like nobody I know plays Warhammer. Um, so for years, I just didn't know anything about it and never decided to take the plunge, just kind of, you know, ignored it. Um, but then, of course, thanks to YouTube and seeing Warhammer videos and people playing it and talking about it, I kind of understand a basic gist of it now. I was trying to decide if Warhammer was right for the channel. Should I, should I invest in Warhammer to get it to the, chat, to the table to showcase here on the channel? And after giving it uh, a lot of thought over the last uh, couple of months, um, I'm kind of on the fence about it, to be honest with you. So as you can imagine, the first... Um, problem is the price. It is extremely uh, costly when you compare it to things like Star Wars Legion or Marvel Crisis Protocol. Um, and it's not really accessible because you have to actually go to a game store if, and they usually have in stock, but um, Amazon doesn't have a like, wide variety. It's hardly ever on sale. Um, the price is, Games Workshop does jack those prices up. I would say, just from eyeballing it, it's about 30% more expensive than Star Wars Legion um, as, as sort of like a comparison. And it is a concern. Now, the price, although it, it's more expensive, um, isn't it necessarily a detractor for me as long as it's accessible, right? And I can actually get the stuff and actually start enjoying it. The other issue I had with Warhammer was that um, of the few factions I had saw or glimpsed at, which wasn't many, to be honest with you, um, the Space Marines were kind of neat, but not enough to really draw me into the thing. But then I saw this faction, the Astra Militarium, and immediately I was like, whoa! I was like, I want to play that faction. I know nothing about Warhammer, very little. I just knew that I want, I, I know that I want to play that faction. So I went out and I bought the, um, some models, including this one, the, um, that Walker thing. And unfortunately, um, I can't play them because 9th edition now has come out and there's no codex available for this faction. So I have to wait, um, I guess, until one comes out before I can even play it. And that's disappointing, to say the least. So while we're on the topic of the codex, um, it's almost $50 for a codex for each faction that you would want to play. So if you want to build multiple armies, um, you need multiple codexes, which means you're dropping between $150 to $200 um, you know, for three to four um, arm, different types of armies and different factions, that's a lot of money. And that's just, yeah, and you have to buy it because if you don't have it, you don't have the updated stats and all that stuff you need. So that's kind of a deterrent, I guess, for me as sort of a, a, a novice trying to jump into this thing. Another problem I have with Warhammer, or at least as an entry point in trying to step into it, was the lore of it and, and wasn't really um, something I was brought up in, didn't know much about. And when I started looking at it, um, it did nothing for me. I, I really don't care about this this god and this all of their, this stuff. All I knew is science fiction, futuristic. That's fine for me. And the look at the models and the minis is all I really care about. So the lore really isn't much of a, an interest for me as far as getting into it. So then, like, a couple months ago, I started looking at Warhammer a Kill Team, which was more of a skirmish-based uh, counterpart to Warhammer. And I thought, okay... So I went and looked at some of the starter sets, and the one, the Octarius starter set, is $200. Um, it does come with the two skirmish armies, some, some real terrain. It's really nice, um, and it has all the stuff um, in it that you need to get started completely. Like, it's a complete starter kit. But $200 for a starter kit, and I was like, wow. And that, again, if I want to run other kill teams from their factions, I believe I have to go buy a Kodax for those. I'm not sure how much they cost, but that could add up pretty quick as well. But overall, it looked like an interesting uh, starting point, uh, even though it wasn't the larger scale armies I really wanted. So, am I going Warhammer? Am I not going Warhammer? Well, when I started wargaming, uh, miniature wargaming, like about, what, over two years ago, my philosophy was to, to try them and to... Um, find and, and play the ones I enjoy playing, even if they're not popular or not. And so that's really the, the gist here. In order to, to try Warhammer, I have to invest myself into it a little bit, um, get to the table, play it a few times, and then 
if I enjoy it and I like it, I certainly will put it on the channel. But I'm not going to put it on the channel just to throw it on there, just to throw it on there. It has to be intrinsic. It has to be something I enjoy doing. So, and that time will tell on that. So it's just a matter now of slowly accumulating um, the units for the armies, the codexes, assembling, painting, um, practicing it, keep reading the rule book. Um, and then when all is said and done, uh, yeah, if I enjoy it, I'll put it on the channel. And of course, if I don't enjoy it, I guess I can always put it on eBay and get most of my money back anyways. So that's it, guys. So the, long, the short answer here is that, uh, yes, uh, I will be working towards that goal. Um, it's one of those childhood things, right? You saw it in stores as a kid. Um, well, I wasn't a kid then. I was a young like a teenager. But um, it's been gnawing at me for a lot of years. And I don't think I can get an inch of Wargaming and simply ignore Warhammer. It's just, it's just, it's just too, too big of a thing. So... Um, yes, this newbie is going to take the plunge, and you'll be along there with me every step of the way as I make mistakes, which I'm sure are coming. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'm still in the hospital if you're, if you're watching this. Um, again, when I get out of the hospital, more battle reports are coming, so please just stay tuned. Thanks.